The Community Education Channel presents Community View. A closer look inside community issues that matter. It's a glimpse, a preview highlighting issues and events important to the community, bringing public perception to light on local community issues that make a difference. Hello and welcome to Community View. I'm Melissa Anderson. You know, there's a lot happening in the city of St. George these days, and with me to talk about the events coming up is the city's communication and marketing director, David Cordero, to fill us in. Welcome, David. Hi, Melissa. Great to be yeah, on here. Great to have you on the yeah. show. Tell us, you know, I saw the mayor come riding in on a scooter one day, <laughs> had to show, shoot video of that. Of course. I think that's the big event coming up. It is, yeah. We're going to have our scooter launch. Uh, and it's going to be great. We're going to have scooters all over the city, probably about 250 uh, that anybody can, can rent. And, and uh, it's very cost effective, a fun way to get around town. Yeah. Now, these are going to be coincided with um, the, the bikes that we have now. How does this all fit into our transportation plan and making us a, a, a cycling city or, a, I guess, a pedestrian friendly? Yeah, so with the, with the scooters, it's similar to the bicycles. You need to have the, uh, the app on your, on your smartphone. Um, the, the spin scooters, all done with an app. Uh, you have to be at least 18 to rent them. Uh, it's a dollar to unlock the scooter and 15 cents a minute. And so you could take a ride and you know, for 10 minutes, that's what, 250? Yeah. Uh, what the cost is. So uh, a great way to get around. And a lot of times, if you're going from point A to point B, and it may not be very far as the crow flies, but it may be difficult. Maybe it's traffic, maybe it's parking. Uh, the scooter is kind of a, a fun way to, to you know, breathe the, the, the fresh, uh, fresh air and, and get to a place and, and to have fun doing it. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm gonna try one of those yeah, out. You I'm better. telling you that right now. <laughs> also, you have uh, neighborhood open houses that we talked yeah. about before. Right. Tell me a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so basically we're taking the city council on the road. Okay. Uh, it is the work meetings for March, April, May, and June, so March 28th at huh. Sun River, April 11th at Firehouse Park, northwest part of town, May 9th, Town Square, June 13th, Gila Sigmiller Park down in Little Valley, and these take the place of the work meetings. And one of the, the reasons why we wanted to do this is we wanted to make our city council more accessible to the community. A lot of people may, be, may feel intimidated going to a city council meeting, much less a work meeting, which is held in our office in the administrative uh, mm -hmm. workroom, which is pretty small, so there's nowhere to hide, like there might be in the, <laughs> the city council chambers for those who are just interested in, in you know, understanding kind of the process as we go through. So this is a great opportunity. You can meet your city council. Every department will be there. They'll have a presentation, well, not a presentation, kind of a display at their uh, area. You can learn about what's going on, be it water, uh, roads, um, the uh, development, anything along that, those lines. And maybe present some ideas for what might be good in your neighborhood. Absolutely. Uh, your feedback is, is always welcome. Okay. Now you've been in this job for about four and a half months. How's it going? And tell yeah. me a little bit about what you find is the most rewarding. Well, it's great. You know, it's, it's sort of like uh, drinking from a fire hose, you know, <laughs> <laughs> learning all this stuff, which is great because I was, I was thirsty, you know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's really fun. I've, you know, my background, I have a lot of background in journalism and in, in marketing communication. So uh, informing people is something that I, that I like to do and being kind of on the, the cutting edge of, of knowing the information and being, being able to disseminate it to people it is a lot of fun. I get to monitor and post on the social media pages, uh -huh. which is which is great. Right. And I just love dealing with all the different types of people um, that you encounter throughout the, the course of your time. And I'm involved with every department in the city, be it water, energy, uh, Suntran, recreation, arts, you name it. So. It's just a lot of fun. I, 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 love, uh, I love people and it's a, it's a great job for well, me. Well, and people appreciate seeing you out there. I appreciate oh. your reposting my posts. Thank you. Well, <laughs> awesome. You do a great job, Melissa. <laughs> I understand you have a big speaking gig coming up real shortly. I do, yeah. It's uh, a very honor to do this. It's the Memorial Day commemoration mm -hmm. done by the American Legion Post 90. Mm -hmm. They do it every uh, Memorial Day. This year it's m uh, Monday, May 27th uh -huh. at the St. George Cemetery. And to my knowledge, I'm either the first or one of the one of the very few people to have served as the guest speaker 
who were not in the military at any point in their life. So a civilian, um, but I, I really appreciate and love our military veterans, and I hope that, that I can convey that through my speech. And you've done a lot of help with the Honor Guard and covering our veterans in the area, and we thank you and appreciate you for thank that. You. And thank you very much for joining us today and keeping us posted on what's happening in St. George. So thanks. we'll see you out there on a scooter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> thanks, Melissa. <laughs> and thanks to all of you for watching. And we hope you'll get involved and see what's happening again around St. George. Have a great day.